My name's Alan Hart and today I'm doing Day in the Life of a Plumber. I've got a few um, surveys and jobs to look at today. Um, so I thought, I'd, I thought I'd just do a video on surveying really and, and what we look for when we're looking at jobs. So the first one that I've got is an underfloor heating job that we're looking at. So what we'll do is we'll go inside now and I'll show you, uh, I'll show you what we're going to be looking at. This is the property here, and we're going to put um, underfloor heating all downstairs in this property. And it's going to be a screed and staple system. So this is going to have some insulation put down on here. And we'll just have a little walk through. So all this downstairs is going to have underfloor heating. And what I'll do is with this, I'll do a step-by-step -step installation of this. So obviously we can see it all now. We're going to get the drawings, we'll get the drawings done. And then we'll see where all manifolds and all that type of stuff's going to go. So yeah, so we'll come back and we'll have a look at this another time. So that was the underfloor heating job um so we'll have a look we'll go back to that at a later date you know, the next one that i've got to go to today is they've got an open vent boiler um and they've got a cylinder in the airing cupboard and they're wanting to update it to a combi boiler and um, the issue they've got is it's it's like a new style build house so the gas is it is small gas and they don't know how they're going to update it so what we'll do is we'll go and have a look at that now i'm not sure how much i'll be able to film when i'm in the customer's property but what i'll do is i'll add as much as a as much as i can as as much as the customer is happy with um and then we'll have a chat about it afterwards and i'll, and I'll explain why i've quoted what i've quoted so yeah let's go and have a look at it now on this job here, the boiler, the boiler is in this cupboard here. Let's we'll start a quick look at this. So we've got the boiler in the cupboard here, which the gas is only 15 mil. And ideally the customer wants a combi boiler. I'll just uh, nip outside and show you it flew. See it flew there. Uh, it's also too close to next doors. Is that too close to boundary? Um, so what I'm going to do, um, this is an open vent system, it's got headed tanks up in loft and it's got a hot water cylinder. I'm going to measure the flow rate on this tap here. I've got, um, I've got my flow cup. So I'll do that now and then we can see what size boiler, combi boiler would be best. And then what we'll do, we'll have a look where we can locate a new combi boiler and also obviously we're gonna to have to update the gas if we put put a combi boiler in so let's have a look at this now it's a little bit hard with uh, doing it like this but you can see there we've got about 11 11-ish litres a minute, 10, 11 litres a minute. So we can fit, on this job we'd probably fit, we'd fit a 30 kilowatt I think, because that, that'll be plenty. So we'll, we'll nip upstairs now and I'll show you a hot water cylinder. And then in this cupboard here, we've got the hot water cylinder. So how this works is, you have two pipes coming from the boiler downstairs. And this pipe here, I know, I know that that pipe on the left is the flow from the boiler. And it goes up there, and it's got your air separator, goes back down, and it goes to your pump. And then if you can't see it, but there's an arrow on that pump, and it pumps down, and it pumps down towards the, the three-way valve there. And one way, goes round there, goes round coil, and that heats the hot water. And then the other side of this is this one here, and then that goes round the heating. 
that pipe there on the bottom of the cylinder is the return so what we're going to do or what i'm quoting to do is put a new boiler in this cupboard and the reason for that is because we've got all those pipes here already so we've got this hot water pipe there so we can cut this back and we can use that for the hot water we've got some cold water there which is going up to the header tanks and then as i've said already we've got this flow so it's this flow here comes from the boiler so we will not be using that pipe what we'll be doing is the flow here this flow goes to the heating system and that's the flow we will be using from the new boiler and then obviously this pipe here is the return and we'll use that and back at the boiler downstairs we'll cap one of them off or we'll try and cut the pipe back the best we can I'll just um, I'll show you up at loft and I'll also show you outside as well and we've got two header tanks up in the loft here so these header tanks here we'll need to we'll need to take these out as well the small tank there that feeds the central heating and then the big tank that feeds the hot water cylinder so that's your cold water storage tank that goes into the hot water cylinder so as I say we'll have to cut all this cut it all out so just checking the gas well, gas the gas meter is here outside and the flow would come out there somewhere so where this camera is there if we cross there and then up that's roughly where flow would come out so worst case scenario we're gonna have to run gas down this outside wall which it's not something I really would want to do but that's worst case scenario and it's the least disruption to the house so that's um, that's his quote um, survey done um, so that's a, it's an open vent system as I've, as I've said already the the small tank in the loft is for the heating and then the big tank is for the hot water and that feeds the hot water cylinder and we're going to update or I'm going to do a quote to update it to a combi um, I will give the customer a few different options of boiler um, and we'll try we'll try and update the gas internally if we can if possible the last thing I want to do is put pipes up outside the house if I'm honest but I would always tell customer worst case scenario just because you know you're better to have a happy customer than a sad customer um, so you know if you tell them worst case scenario and then you can do it a better way then all well and good also we need to get the condensate to the boiler so again we could run a pipe down the outside of the house and there's no drains so we could put a soak away in but again I don't really want to do that if I can help it so I think what I will do I will quote to put a condensate pump in pump it up into the loft and then in the loft there's the soil pipe um, and what we'll do we'll put a strap on boss onto that and we'll put the condensate into that just to try and make it so there's no pipes outside obviously less chance of freezing and things like that as well um, yeah so I hope um, I hope you found this of some use if you have a click up up there somewhere there'll be a subscribe button so if you if you'd like to subscribe that'd be great thanks very much have a great day